Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now in the last episode we built the second floor which looks pretty amazing, I love it. I love it, it's full of storage and as you can see it's already full up with food. Nice. We've got 4,000 wheat, we're not processing, and 4,000 carrots. But that is going to be nothing when we actually get this all inhabited with 300 beavers. Now you might have noticed something. You might have noticed. There's a lot of dynamite around here. <laughs> There's a lot of dynamite. I think we used like over a thousand dynamite for all of this. But at the end of this episode, we're going to blow this up so we can uh, have a deeper water storage. But before we do all of that, I need to, we need to make the last floor. And that is mainly going to be the processing floor. Now, I've got to think about what I want this, um, what I want this place to be. Now, this place is pretty much going to hold 300 beavers that can eat, drink, sleep, and have a bit of fun. I'm not going to be processing planks or, or gears or anything like that here. So. I'm not too fussed about any sort of wood production. All I care about is processing the food that's down here. So we're gonna make um, we're gonna make an observatory area. We're gonna make a little ledger area, and we're gonna make some food processing areas. So first, I want to get down a monument. Um, let's pause it and let's uh, plan it. So I, the reason why I'm pausing it is because I don't want to pull it down and then decide that I don't want it and they already put materials into it. So I was thinking something like that. And then in the middle, we can have this bad boy. Like that. And we'll have to get power to that. What is that saying? What is, oh no, that's just the storage underneath. I wish you could turn off them notifications. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. I just haven't checked the, the settings properly. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now I want some rooftop terraces. So let's get... Do I want it here? I don't know where I want them yet. Let's actually get the food production down because that is the important part. So we're going to need a lot of... Um, I feel like I need to put this up. That might go up a bit. Let, let's see. That might do something like... This. Um, and then we get the... We get that down there. Why can I not go up there? Or maybe even higher. <laughs> maybe even higher. We'll, we'll take a look at that. But I want to get food production ready. So we're going to be mainly making wheat. So I'm not really too fussed about a grill. What we need is a grits mill and a bakery. Now, we definitely need to start getting power to this place. So there may be a temporary power solution being made today. That may be a thing. Um, that seems a bit off. I don't like it. Maybe I could pull it like that. If I pull it there. Because we're going to need at least six of these, I think, to process the wheat that we've Creating. Yeah, I definitely want this higher. I want this to stand tall. And we're going to build like a a platform thing here that's going to hold an observatory and some uh, rooftops, terraces. What does the bakery look like again? Okay. That could go something like that. Oh yeah, we could do something like this. This this doesn't look too bad. The 
just need to get some pathways going. And then... Now I want to make sort of the rooftop terraces. And we also need to make water, water production. So that's going to be all back here. It's going to be a massive water production. Because we need to water 300 beavers. We also need to make room for... Or we also need to put some breeding pods. Maybe. I may just have a breeding district that sends people when they need it. But that would be really hard to maintain. <clears throat> it's a lot of micromanaging. Okay. So, let's delete this for now. Let's get... How big is the observatory? Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? It's quite a big boy. Hmm. Hmm, okay. i got to find a way to make a sort of platform going up. Now I'm going to constantly use... Okay, what happened there? Okay. I'm going to constantly use these small platforms because it will allow me to weave power sources if I need to weave, weave them in and out. I think something like that would be good. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Now, I want to make a stairway because, and I hope <laughs> the district can reach that far. I really hope the district can reach that far. Because I'm going to put some rooftop terraces. So maybe if we start a stairway from here. go up like this. I don't know if we need to go up one more. But then, if we don't go up one more, we can do something like this. And then this again. And what can that do for me? Um, leisure. Right, I could do something like that. Right here. Yeah, I think I could. I think I think that's a plan. All right. Let's get I'm gonna use this one here. Like that and like that. That'll give me enough space for that and that there. We're obviously going to need power going up here. So let's think about that as well. So it's going to need to be something like... Hmm. I wish we could just extend the power height. This way we have to go like this, which takes up a lot of space. Takes up a hell of a lot of space. Yeah, I really wish we could uh, change that. But hey-ho, we'll work with what we've got. I hope it actually reaches. I think it does. I think that actually hits perfectly. <laughs> it does. Wow. Wow, okay. And then we can get it under there. And we can arrange some sort of power source <laughs> at the back here. And we can have a temporary power source somewhere around this until we build our power district. But, um, yeah. Okay, let's get that covered up. How does it get covered up? The second one? Yeah. And should I put some rooftops on there? 
maybe. Uh, where are you? Decorations. Hmm. Looks okay for now. Now we've got to look at this observatory. Can I get this here? No, I cannot. Ah, oh, that is just a bit too big. I could do that, but it just seems like maybe there. And that needs power as well, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I could actually put it here. That's not a bad place, actually. It's not a bad place. I did want to get two of them. What do they cost? Oh, I need to give some uh, pine resin. I don't have that here. That means I can maybe get some more of these bad boys. Maybe something like, no. That's not a nice um, look, is it? I could do something like that. I'm happy with something like that. All right, we can do that. Do that. And then, really, it's just sort of filling out the little areas with bushes and stuff like that. So let's get some of these beavers. And where can I put you? Can I not pull it underneath a double plank or triple plank? I can't. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Put some up here. That costs 30 metal, believe it or not. Get some bushes. Get some bushes there. This top area is completely filled up, isn't it? All right. And eventually we'll move some of the stuff down here as well. Because we don't need, once everything's built, we don't need a uh, builder's hut. Haul this hut, maybe, because we do need to haul a lot of uh, materials around. All right, I am going to let them complete this. So I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, it is all done. Now let me go into uh, screenshot mode because all these um, signs just destroyed the artwork of this place. Look at that. And I've got, I've also changed this because we're going to need power all along here. And if I click one, you can see it actually powers all of this. This doesn't need power, but it does power up to the observatory. So that's pretty cool. We'll make a, a backbone power at some point. And we've got this bad boy done. And that also will have power coming from here. They'll all connect and we'll do something fancy there. But the time has come. Oh, you know, this is going to look so cool. I, I love the fact that the chimneys are like this. And when they're smoking, it's going to look pretty, pretty cool. But the time has come to do some landscaping. So now, what the next sort of plan is, we're going to blow this up. We're going to make a bridge across here. And we're going to block this off because I do want to fill this up with water. I also want to blow this bit up because we're going to put water production here. And I may, I may move this forward, but I might do that off camera because I want to put a little, I was going to do a tree thing here because we do need trees as these take 0.1 trees per five bread. So we will need a small amount of trees because we will be burning trees. So I was thinking of doing it here, but I thought, you know what, let's just do it inside. So I might just move this forward around four spaces and put a forester down here and they can grow their own trees and that way they can grow their own a bit more food as well if they need it but let's go and destroy my frame rate 
Oops, let's save it first. And I want to actually, um, I'm going to wait till daytime. Okay, we're in an eight day drought. I'm going to wait for the water to disappear because it'll be easier to see. And then we're going to blow this to smithereens. Smithereens, I tell you. I do. So, yeah, I was talking about moving this forward, which means it will come up to about here, I believe, or here. Most will be here. So I could actually not detonate that one. I think that's too close, actually. I might bring it here, because we don't need many trees. I need to press detonate then. Yeah, I'm going to leave that like that. In fact, I could leave the whole line. And that would be a bit better, wouldn't it? You know what, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. That's a waste of dynamite. Let's do that. Do that. Something like that. So that means that one won't be, um, won't connect to this, unfortunately. But that's fine. That is fine. All right, that should actually hit every single one. Oh, 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 get a bit scared. Get a bit scared for my computer. All right, detonate. Armed. And go. <laughs> Look at all of that lovely, loveliness. Do you speed up? Go on in. Oh, 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 oh. That's too fast. That was only on the second speed. That took so many dynamites. So, so many dynamites. Still got to come all the way around here. Let's speed up a bit more. Okay, there we go. That literally took like a quarter of the day to blow up. Wow. Wow. Okay, now we can blow up the little ones. There we go. And this little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. We will need to blow up that, but I'll do that off camera. You know what? That's an interesting design for like, um, if we put water in there, we can make aquatic farms. Hmm. 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 But I'm okay for now. I'm okay for now. I think this food is pretty decent. So what we need to do now is I want to plan a bridge. We're going to have to delete this, this one. We can't delete it yet because they need to get in. Yes, they can't get in, get in just yet. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I make... There is a pathway back here. But that won't work. Maybe if I make a temporary bridge here. No, that won't work either. And if I make a temporary bridge there, that would just be far too many um, resources. Yeah, that take a lot of resources. Okay, let me think about how we're gonna do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do it something like this. And what I'm gonna do is, once I've built that, I'm gonna quickly delete this and this and make another bridge to go across. Then I can delete everything and they'll have pathways. Yes, I believe that is what I want to do. I might not even delete it because we do need a district gate and that could go there. I don't really want it here, it looks weird. But here it will block off, well this won't exist at that point. 
Hmm. Hmm. There's no water. I think it's gonna die out. That's fine. That's fine. What happened there? Someone stuck. I bet you someone's stuck, isn't it? Of course they are. Hmm. How are we gonna get them out? Should we? They must be just die. <laughs> most of be just die. Um. Do that and that for now. Now I should stop everyone else from dying. Let's put that as high priority. But yeah, there we go. There we go. The third floor. The introduction of a deeper pond. And I'm going to clear up these bits um, as, as I'm off camera. I'll mostly delete this and just leave this all empty. And start making a move on to this and shaping this up. Then in the next episode, we can build a temporary power supply and we can build a water supply. Now with water, I've got to build quite a few because we've got a supply of 300 beavers in um, for nine days for a drought. Now I don't expect us to survive, like have to survive nine days because we will have a pool of water here that could mostly last us a decent amount of time. But I might just make it to last nine days just in case. So we've got a lot of things to do with that. And that would most probably be it for this. We won't start up until we've got a proper farm district going, which will most be the next district. So we have a farm more power the next district. And um, yeah, we'll see how it rocks and rolls. So guys, thank you for joining me on this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all have an amazing day. Peace.